Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have another set of inks here to compare today. This is Diamine Ink Comparison number 11. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the descriptions, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question that I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomoe River this is 52 GSM, and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomoe River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page, and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad these are the pads that i actually use when i'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink so they have these little squares up here uh, i just use that because it's a good guide for me when i put this very thin sheet of tomoe river over i can actually see squares so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page not always but sometimes it does the, the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen, or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3d and it has a number eight size bock nib which i can unscrew and you can see there so it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size bock nib and the idea is i want to have consistency with the writing sample so i use this i dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it. And then at that point, uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it. That's uh, how I do my ink swatches. So I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink is Diamine Havasu turquoise so i think let's swab up these inks and you can see this is a very beautiful turquoise color now i will do a second pass on the top half of this and that is purely to try and show the difference between what would be a wet and a dry writing nib so that you can see there. So if you have a very super wet nib, you would see a color that will end up like this once dry, and then on a lighter or drier nib, or even a more narrower nib, you'll see this color most likely. So this is Diamine. And it's uh, Havasoy. Havasu turquoise which is a really lovely turquoise ink and i have to say this isn't an ink that i've used before but it is an ink that i can see myself using a lot more the next ink here is diamine pumpkin so we'll do an ink swatch here and this definitely looks like a pumpkin color to me also looks a little bit dry to start with, uh, getting towards the end here. I'm going to saturate the top part to make it look a little bit more like a wet nib, how a wet nib would write. 
So we're going to do another pass, actually, because this does seem quite a dry ink. So this is diamine. And it's pumpkin. But that, to me, looks like a really good orange ink. And it's, it's an orange ink that I've actually avoided for some reason, and I don't know why. I think possibly because I just don't like pumpkins. I know, shock horror, but it's just a, an ink that I've not... I, I've gone with Diamine Blaze Orange in the past. Or if I wanted a more autumny orange, maybe a Diamine Autumn Oak. The next ink here I have is Diamine Sepia. So let's do an ink swatch. And I have to say that this... I'm not really a person that tends to like sepia colours. I do like golden brown, but I'm just, I don't know if it's just the name sepia. So I'm doing a second pass just to show the difference between a wet and a dry nib. And this is diamine sepia. The next ink is Diamine Spring Green. So let's do an ink swatch here. Now, it was a little bit of a choice between this and Kelly Green, and I've not had Kelly Green before either, not used it before, but I thought that these two looked fairly similar. So we'll do a second pass there, just over the top half, just to show the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. And this is Diamine. And it is Spring Green. But that is a very interesting green colour. The next ink is Diamine Ultra Green. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I always think of when a ink is called Ultra, like I always think it, it's more of a, a neon or brighter ink. Uh, but that doesn't seem to necessarily be the case here. But we'll see how this one dries. So there's the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. And this is Diamine. And it is Ultra Green. But I have to say, that's already looking to be a nice green for me. I'm not typically into dark greens, not typically into super light greens either. Uh, but that green is a green I could actually see myself uh, using, uh, certainly in its wet state here at the moment. And then the last ink here is Diamine Tyrian Purple. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is an ink that, I don't know, I just avoided. Uh, I guess because I already have my go-to purple ink, which is Diamine Majestic Purple. We'll do a second pass over here to show the difference between a wet and a dry nib. And then my second go-to purple is really a KWZ Gummy Berry. So I think I've pretty much tried to avoid other purple inks as much as I could. Uh, this uh, looks to be a very different purple than I'm used to. So it will be interesting to see how this one uh, eventually dries on the page. So this is Diamine. And it is Tyrian Purple. So I think now let's take a look at these inks now that they have dried. So the first ink here is Diamine Havasu Turquoise. If you like a turquoise coloured ink, I'd have to say this is a turquoise coloured ink you should go for. Uh, I typically do like some other uh, turquoise inks like Diamine Aqua Blue. Uh, you could probably say Pilot Washizuku Con Pecky is getting towards a turquoise colored ink it's not probably turquoise but this i would definitely say is a turquoise colored ink uh and 
this is an ink I probably will go to more now because I do like this color. So you can see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. You can see quite a bit of shading around here in the pooled area of that ink. Uh, is there any sheen? Now, I want to say yes, there is. Around the edges here, yes, there is. I can just about see a dark red there. So yes, there is sheen. Uh, is there sheen on the writing sample? No, I'm not seeing sheen there. But that is a beautiful turquoise colored ink. So if you're into turquoise color inks, that is certainly a one that you should go for. Uh, there's also Diamine Aqua Blue that I mentioned. If you like a little bit more on the green side, Diamine Aqua Lagoon is another one uh, to, to keep uh, an eye out for. If you want a little bit more of a greenier one, then maybe Diamine Marine, but that's that's more of a greeny, tealy, turquoisey ink, I would say. The next ink here is Diamine Pumpkin, and I have to say, this is an ink that I have for some reason avoided getting for a long time, and I really don't know why, other than maybe I'm not a fan of pumpkins. Uh, but this is a really beautiful ink. So you can see a massive difference between what would be a wet versus a dry writing nib. Uh, this is a very, the darking wet wet side of the ink here is more of a, I'd say, a darker pastel color. Now uh, this is obviously a very light pastel color. Uh, in terms of uh, shading, there isn't a lot of shading going on. Uh, there isn't any sheen either, but that is a really, really uh, beautiful orange ink. Typically, I go for Diamine Blaze Orange if I want a Diamine Orange ink. Uh, I go for Pilot Wash Izuku Yuyaki, um, Sailor Gentle Apricot or Kin Makusai if I can't get Apricot. Uh, so, and there's also um, Pelican Edel Sign Mandarin as well. But I'd have to say that this is quite a nice uh, ink. So if I wanted to put it in a wet writing nib, this is probably uh, one that I would probably gravitate towards maybe a little bit more. So I will have to uh, try and ink this one up a bit more in some uh, pens that maybe are orange colored pens. The next ink here is Diamine Sepia. Now, Again, this is another ink that I have avoided for some time. I don't dislike sepia. I just, I like an ink called the color it is. And I don't think sepia as being brown um, or brown being sepia. But this is an interesting colored ink. So if you're going to write in a very dry or a fine nib, you're going to see this very light version of sepia. If you're going to use a wet or broader nib, this is the color you're going to see. There's also a lot of shading going on there when it's in a wet nib or a uh, wet sample there. Now, is there any sheen? There is a slight amount of sheen around the edges here. Uh, there's nothing in the writing sample. A little bit of a gold sheen there. Not a lot. It's trying to sheen. It's just having difficulty sheening so it's not an ink that would be a uh, heavy sheening ink but it's a nice ink though and i have to say i do like diamine golden brown a lot but i might have to ink up diamine sepia because i do actually like that color of that writing sample there the next ink here is diamine spring green and you can see there's a, a very large difference between what would be a wet pass and a dry pass here. So a wet nib and a dry nib. There's also a lot of shading going on around here, especially around the pooled areas. Now, if I try to show this on camera, is there any sheen? There isn't any sheen. Uh, it's trying to around the edges there, but it's just not coming through. Uh, I do like the uh, writing sample there. Uh, with a wet nib this is actually uh, a more interesting color and it does have some shading going on there as well so this is probably an ink that I will try and ink up in a pen uh, maybe try a couple of pens see how they write and see how well it shades 
The next thing here is uh, Diamine Ultra Green. And again, you can see a massive difference between what would be a wet versus a dry writing nib. Uh, there's a little bit of shading going on here, certainly around the pooled areas. Uh, the ink here, does it sheen? No, it does not. Uh, the writing sample doesn't sheen either. However, I do like uh, that writing sample. Uh, is it an ultra green? I don't know. It's not what I would call an ultra green. I guess in terms of brightness, yes, the dry version here, I would say probably is more of an ultra green or a, a bright neon-y coloured green. But when it's in a wet nib, I would say it probably isn't. The last colour here of ink that I have is Diamine Tyrian Purple. And as I would mentioned, this is an ink that I have avoided for a while. Don't know why, really. Um, there isn't a huge difference between what would be a wet and a dry writing nib. Uh, there is a lot of shading going on, certainly in the pooled areas of where that ink is pooled. Uh, now, there is some sheen going on. It really isn't breaking out much. There's some gold sheen around the dark areas here. There isn't any gold sheen on the writing sample. But that is an interesting colour of purple. It's not typically a purple ink that I would gravitate towards. I typically like a dark purple. But I know a lot of people like Tyrian purple. Likewise, Diamine Imperial Purple as well. So this is my Diamine Ink Comparison number 11 video. If there are any of these inks that you like, then let me know in the comments below. And likewise, if there are any other inks you want me to uh, sample, or if there are any other inks that are a very close comparison to any of these, then do let me know in the comments below. So there you have it. That's my Diamine Inks Comparison video number 11. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.